this example, I again have two expressions, and I want to evaluate these expressions with, ver uh, with uh, variables given. The variables and the expressions, you notice, have both an x and a y. You can find expressions that have many, many different variables in them. They want me to evaluate the expression where x equals 6 and y equals 4. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite the expression down, and everywhere I see an x, I'll just simply replace an x with the value they asked me to do. So it's going to be a 5 times an x, which is, in this case, a 6, minus a 3 times a y, which is a 4. 5 times 6 is 30, minus 3 times a 4, a 12, then 30 take away 12 is 18. Notice again what I like to do or the habit I would like you to get into as you're solving these problems, please do it one step at a time and on each step just change one part of the problem on the way to your solution. The reason why I find that helpful is that when you go back and study for your midterm or your final, you can go back and look at your work and then because you've only did one change each step, you're going to be able to follow the work that you've done. On the second expression, again, everywhere I see the variable, I'm just going to swap it out. So a 3 times the x, which is a 6, plus a 5 times a 4, plus a 2, all over 2 times x, 6 minus the y, which is a 4. And you have to be careful. The problems do get a little bit complicated in appearance, and that's why it's very careful just to take it one step at a time as you solve it. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 5 times 4, which is a 20, plus a 2, all over a 2 times a 6, 12 minus a 4. 18 plus 20 plus 2 is 40. 12 minus 4 is an 8, and then 40 divided by 8 reduces down to 5. So that is the solution of that expression when I evaluated the expression at the variables x equals 6 and y equals 4.